So here we go then. Heat two from the 250cc cost. The gate is about to drop. There it goes. Can Bollet do it again? Or can the 24-year-old from Le Mans in France, Michael Pigeon, do anything about it? It looks to me like Maschio number six has got the whole shot as they drop down the far side of the circuit. It certainly is a Winfield Kawasaki that leads them away. And I think that's Corona Suzuki number 15, Pichon in second place, and number 17 there. That's Marco Kovalainen almost into the duck pond. Let's have another look at that again. It is number six that leads them away. A whole melee of riders going into that corner, but this time they look to all got safely around. So, at the front, it's number six, but we've got to change, because already Pigeon goes into the lead. He needs to do this. Where is Bollet, we ask now, and he's back in about fifth or sixth place, I think. So, Pigeon, Maschio, Morris, another good start from the Brit. Byra, Karsmarker, and Josh Coppins is back in sixth place. So, the New Zealander coping with the sandy circuit well. But look at Pigeon has decided to get out of the gate and just run like a rabbit and let the rest try and catch him. And Maschio at the moment is the only man that's there. There is Bora going through. There is Coppins just going through. We're looking for Bollet. I think that was Bollet just in our picture. But a heavy landing there for Pichon. Doesn't need to do that too often in this race. Can end in disaster. This circuit, although very well graded between races, it doesn't take it long to rough up. Pigeon, Maschio, Byra then, top three. Then it's Morris, New Zealand and Coppies, and there's Bollet, the winner of Heat 1, up into sixth place. But as this man streaks away on that Corona Suzuki, Mikhail Pigeon, the 24-year-old, has got this race well and truly in hand at the moment. Only a mistake or a mechanical failure may put him out of it. Van Rees, Karlsmarker, Bellametti, Gudetti, Freeberg, and Ryan Vos, number 57, the young British rider who qualified here today in 12th spot. And Justin Morris, 22 on the Emerson Yamaha, battling wheel to wheel, handlebar to handlebar, with the Kawasaki mounted Dutchman, Remy Van Rees, one of the, uh, the senior riders in this class here today, at about 29 years of age. So plenty of experience at these kind of tracks. And young Morris, a former top British schoolboy rider, has found it difficult to make his mark at world scene, but at last it's beginning to come together. Byra, number two, the German has got his teammate Maschio behind him, and here comes the Frenchman, Frederick Bollet. Off the inside of Maschio, what a lovely overtaking move from Bollet. He now sets his sight firmly on the German in front. Let's have a look at that again. He goes high on the berm, turns it tight on the inside, squirts the power on and just shuts the door firmly in the face of Mikhail Maschio. So, Barra, you're next on my list, says Bollet, and I'm coming fast to get you. Let's have a look at Bollet again in action. Superb technique, a superb tactician of the track. Frederick Follet, the world champion number one, showing what he's worth. And here he comes, he's off the Byra, number two. Round the outside, he's gonna line him up over the jump for sure. Here he comes, as Follet and the Pama Honda got the power to beat the Winfield Kawasaki, and I think he has, yes, he's through. High on the berm, feeds in the power to the back wheel and just gets out of there like an elastic band. Here they come then. It's Bollet then second. Pigeon still leads. It's then Bora back there in third place. And the German struggling, it looks just a little bit with the sandy circuit here at Vulcansward. So Bollet goes for a tear off from his goggles to get his vision clear so he can see exactly where Pigeon is in front of him. And the bad news for Bollet is that Pigeon is a long way in front of him. Let's have a look at that move again. Look at Bollet. Powers the bike around the outside, nails it into the high sandy berm, uses that momentum to fire the bike out. He comes out in front of the German on the Kawasaki. So Bollet now sets his sight on the man in front. And the lap times between these two, very much identical. Obviously Bollet lost a bit of time trying to get past Byron, eventually did. The crowd is certainly behind him, cheering him on. Winner of Heat 1 here in Vulcansward. There is the man that finished behind him in heat one. Mikhail Pigeon, number 15, the younger of the two on the Corona Suzuki. He heads the field at the moment, safely away. Quite a few seconds in front of Bollet. I think we are looking at our finishing order bar catastrophe. That's Mikhail Pigeon that has it. Ferrici back there in seventh. Justin Morris now slipping back down into eighth place. So the Brit suffering at the hands of the Dutch sand here at Vulcansward.
So as they sort themselves out to get into the latter part of the race, and a scrap on here because that's Josh Coppins going past Remy Van Rees, the Dutchman. Let's have a look at it again. Powering the Corona Suzuki teammate to race leader, McAfee John. So Josh Coppins, New Zealand, are proving that, yes, indeed, you may live down under, but you can still ride on sand. So the Dutchman drops back behind the number seven Suzuki of Joshua Coppins. Van Rees, a good finish in race one, on for some good points here in race two, but maybe beginning to tire just a little bit. But Coppins, the confidence is beginning to grow for him. So we're back with second place and down to 14 seconds now, the difference between the leader and Frederick Bollet. Now, with a clear track in front of him, can the Frenchman, the winner of Heat 1, catch the man in front? Well, we'll just have to wait and see. It's a demanding testing track here at Vulcan Sward. And it looks like Barra's in trouble. Pit Barra looks to be just cruising through. Here comes Josh Coppins to go past him. Barra looks very concussed on that buggy. He doesn't seem to know where he's going at the moment, but he's kept going. Here's the race leader. Mikhail Pijon, number 15, and that gap is now down to 10 seconds. So Bolle is beginning to increase the pressure, but I think Pijon is being dogged and uh, caught up with the back markers. That will slow him down slightly. But I'm sure this young man, and he does indeed have it all in hand. He knows Morris lets him through to be lapped. He will take the checkered flag. Number 15, Mikhail Pijon here in Heat 2 at Vulcan Sward at this historic event so Pigeon and here comes Pip Barra looking very dazed he's been lapped by the front runners here's Bolle he's going to finish second but Barra is behind him and not in the best of conditions we must say in actual fact Pip Barra has collapsed on the side of the track well I think that's a case of concussion so Pigeon Bolle Maschio Federici Coppins Van Ries and Peter Ivan then the Belgian rounding out that top seven from Heat 2, and Byra clearly in some distress. He, I think he's been over the bars and landed on his head, clearly concussed. He was very brave to keep going. Let's now go across to the podium and talk to Heat 2 winner, Frenchman Mikael yeah, Dijon. I mean, it's, it's really good. Uh, even in, like I said uh, earlier before the race, a couple days before, I thought I'd be okay for the sand track, but uh, Bikensvat is not the kind of track I expect, and uh, I thought it was uh, it would be uh, more sandy than that, and. Uh, I didn't really like the track very much. It was sandy, but really fast, and uh, I think it's a track you just need to ride on it and get used to it. Well, clearly delighted with that race result. Mikhail Pigeon classification then. The overall Bollet takes it from Pigeon Maschio, Van Rees, Josh Coppins, Ferrici, and Pit Borra down in seventh place. Then it's Ivan Crocker, the Morris, the two Brits, De Maria, Kovalainen. Well, those are the top three then. On the overall, Bollet gets the big cup, and a heavy one it is too. And also a good result for Frenchman Mikhail Maschio. Yeah, it's very good for me. I take a good start. And uh, in the beginning, uh, no good speed, uh, because I change a little uh, my uh, suspension. And uh, I need uh, four laps for good feeling. And after, uh, good speed and uh, good result. Yeah. So after three rounds, the championship looks like this. Mikel Pijon leads Bollet, Barra, Maschio, Gordon Crocard down in fifth, Josh Coppins in sixth, and then Di Mario in seventh. Paul Cooper, Frederici, Peter Ivan, Justin Morris, Van Rees, Ryan Hughes, remember, with a broken wrist. Zani down there in 14th place, the Italian. Well, let's leave the top three here at Vulcan Sward on the day. Remember, we'll be back in a few weeks' time for Italy and the next 250 World Motocross Championship.